Welcome back everybody, this is Mr. Longo and this video is going to cover recursive functions. Now recursive function um, is a function that relies on previous terms of a sequence. And the previous term is denoted by a sub n minus 1, which means the term you're on minus 1. That means the previous term. Um, and we are going to be doing some stuff with recursive um, sequences throughout this unit. So again, this video is just a little introduction to recursive parts of sequences and series that we're going to be working with, okay? So we're going to write the first four terms of a recursive sequence. So to do that, what I would recommend is that you list a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. And here's a very, very important part about recursive functions, is whenever you're writing a recursive function, you must state what a sub 1 is. Now for this, we're, we're given what a sub 1 is, it's 3. So then a sub 2 is going to be a to the n is equal to 2 times a sub n1, n minus 1, which means the previous term. So a sub 2 is equal to 2 times the previous term, which is 3. So a sub 2 is equal to 6. a sub 3 would be 2 times the previous term, 6, which is going to give us 12. And finally, a sub 4 is 2 times the previous term, which is 12, which would give us 24. Okay, so if we're already given the recursive sequence, um, that makes things really easy. So the next one is an example for you to try. a sub 1 is given to you as negative 2, and the recursive sequence a sub n is given as 3 plus a sub n minus 1, which means 3 plus the previous term. All right, so why don't you just pause it, give that a really quick shot, and we'll move on. So you should have a sub 1 is equal to our given negative 2. And then a sub 2 is given as 3 plus the previous term of negative 2. And that's going to end up giving us 1. a sub 3 is equal to 3 plus our previous term of 1, gives us 4. And a sub 4 is equal to 3 plus our previous term 4, equals 7. So those are the first four terms of that recursive sequence. But again, it takes advantage of the previous term. So the next thing we're going to do is work on a recursive formula for a sequence. And this is where things get a little bit tricky because you have to make sure you know what you're getting um, in terms of is it linear, quadratic, um, exponential, and you also need to think in terms of what's going to give you a sub n using the previous term, okay? So these are a little bit trickier, but one thing I'm going to remind you is if you are the one writing a formula for a recursive sequence, you absolutely must state what a sub 1 is. And in this case, it's negative 2 because that's the first term of the sequence. Um, so we have obviously a sub 1 a sub 2, a sub 3, all the way on. And for this one, when we're writing the recursive formula, we're basically saying, what is a sub n? And how do we get it? And a sub n minus 1 will be in this formula. So what are we going to do? So you should check and see if it's linear, quadratic, something like that. So negative 2 to 2, we add 4, 2 to 6, we add 4, we've already got it, 6 to 10, we add 4. This one's linear. So we are going to add 4 to the previous term. So that would be 4 plus your a sub n minus 1. Or you can write it as a sub n minus 1 plus 4. It doesn't really matter which order you write it. I mean, it's, it's a formula. Both will work. So in this case, you can always go check. So you should check 
maybe a sub 3. So a sub 3 is 4 plus the previous term of 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. It's correct. We win. So a sub n is equal to 4 plus the previous term. And that's going to work for that sequence. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the next one and see what you get. See if you can come up with it. So for this one, you uh, you probably added 1, and um, then you probably added 2, added 4, then you added 8, and you should see that that's not really going to work out linear because it's, you know, we're spreading apart farther and farther. We add 1, we add 2, we add 4 again, and it's going to keep on following that pattern, which means it has nothing to do with addition. So the next thing you probably did was try multiplication. Um, so, or But you can't really multiply over here. So we're not going to say 5 times, you know, 6 fifths. So we don't want to do that. You want to use this pattern right here. So how do you get from 1 to 2? You multiply by 2. How do you get from 2 to 4? You multiply by 2. How do you get from 4 to 8? You multiply by 2. So now that we know that after the second term we can multiply by 2, you might be thinking it's exponential, but it's not because this is recursive going on the previous term. So if you, you know, thought about going to check to see if it is exponential, you'd have to say 5 times something gives you 6, and then that gives you, so it's not going to give us that. Um, but the second term is multiplication, so this is going to be something to do with multiplication because this is not, you know, this is going back and finding a recursive formula that uses the previous term. Okay, so of course we must state that a sub 1 is equal to 5. So we also know that we're going to multiply 5 to get a sub 2, um, or we're going to need to multiply by 2. So this pattern right here is going to give us the second term. So 2 times the previous term of 5 is 10. But we need to get down to 6, so let's try subtracting 4, because that would give us 6. Now let's go test a sub 3. So that would be 2 times the previous term of 6, and that's going to give us 12 minus 4 does in fact give us 8. So a sub n would be 2 times our previous term a sub n minus 1, and then of course we would subtract 4. Okay, so our recursive formula is 2 times the previous term, which is a sub n minus 1, minus 4. And of course, as I mentioned, you must state that a sub 1 is equal to 5. So those two do actually go together. You must have both. Okay, so I know that one was tricky. Um, but again, we're, we're just working on what recursive functions are right now and how you come up with the pattern. It's tricky for this one because, like I said, I know you're thinking exponential but we have to go back to the previous term. So in this case, since we were multiplying by 2, this is a multiplication. So 2 times the previous term minus 4 will be a recursive formula for this sequence. Okay? This is Longo and I'm out. See you. Bye.